Well, here we are. Week 7. I don't know how we got here, but we're here at week 7. I don't know how, but we made it. We got another uninteresting Thursday night game to start us off. You know, I mean, the Saints and the Cardinals, you know, a game where two teams are 2-4, and four, completely erratic on offense, don't know what they're doing on offense, don't know what they're doing on defense. I mean, you, you got two teams that are at a crossroads right now. And in Glendale tonight, Chris Olave may be coming back. You know, um, we're about like 30 minutes away from that game kicking off. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. You know, Taysom Hill's been doing some damage. You know, you know, Andy Dalton's been in there. Alpha Kamara's been in there. You know, just, just doing his thing. But, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Um, the Cardinals, again, it's Kyler Murray. And everybody else. That's just how it's been. That's just how it's been. I mean, can you blame me? Can you blame me? What has that defense done for Murray lately? Not much, I'll tell you that much. Not much. You know, there, there's a reason they're 2 and 4. Not much lately. So, there's that. Um, the Ravens and the Browns. Now, this one's interesting because, you know, you got Lamar. You know, you got a potent Ravens offense, but then they sputter out in the second half and just don't do anything. And then you got the defense just continuing to give up big plays and big leads and all that stuff. And that's why they're 3-3 three and three right now. And the Browns still trying to find their footing, you know. You know, that, that, I mean, Nick Chubb might be able to run through them, you know. Like it's 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 been like that. It's been like that for the Ravens this year. It really has. You know, there's there's just there's just something about this team that we just it's just not clicking. The Browns, if they can get something going, they might be able to make a they might be able to make something out of it. Then you got the struggling Buccaneers taking on the woeful Panthers. We're talking woeful. Um, Carolina's defense just injured to hell it back. The offense. Not good. Brady, he's angry. He wants a win. He needs one. So we'll see if he can get that against this struggling Panthers team. The game I'm going to be looking at is the Bengals and the Falcons. I know. Surprising, you know, game to be looking at. But, I mean, I don't know where this Falcons offense has come from. And they, they, they just they just been playing real good. they just been playing real, real good. Um, you know, the Bengals can't seem to stop the run, you know, at times, too. The Bengals also have just been kind of wishy-washy on offense. Like, they have good moments, but then they sputter out at times, too. So, you know, it's kind of the same thing with them and the Ravens, you know, where to where, you know, Burrow and Chase and Higgins and, and Nixon, I mean, you know, those guys on offense, they're all great and all, and they all make big plays. But there's just times where it just does not, it doesn't, it doesn't gel well. It just doesn't gel completely like it did last season. You know, it's 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 almost completely there, but it's not quite there yet. So we'll see. You know how this game goes. It's gonna be a good one on Sunday, I tell you. And the, of course, you know I'm watching my Dallas Cowboys take on the Detroit Lions. Lions ain't got no defense, you know, it's it's going to be some a lot of guys returning, DeAndre Swift, Amon Ross St. Brown, Dak Prescott probably returning, I mean, I don't see the Lions playing any defense at all this game, so I mean, if the Cowboys can get something going, you know, again, Cooper Rush has done a serviceable job, but if Dak is ready to go, he needs to get back up in there, because... He, 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 this would be a good time to start lighting up teams, you know, like the Lions and the Bears coming next after this. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, the Jags taking on the Giants. Now, the Jags had a promising start, but they kind of sputtered out a little bit. The Giants boasting that defense, boasting, you know, a lot of things here. You know, they just they just got a lot of pieces, and it's that good coaching, you know. It's good coaching, you know, Daniel Jones, Trevor Lawrence, it's going to be a battle of two young quarterbacks in this game. We'll see who makes less mistakes because both of them have been mistake prone, you know, both of them have been mistake prone. 
Titans. Colts for what is essentially the division lead in the AFC South right now. And, I mean, I'm still, you know, shocked that the Colts are 3-2 with the way they've been playing. The Titans are 3-2 and they're rebounding, you know. You know, you got Derrick Henry in that backfield. You got Derrick Henry in that backfield to win the Titans this game. Because, I mean, the Colts, I, it, the jury's still out on them. Like, I'm, I genuinely do not know what this team is capable of. Like, there's some weeks where, you know, they pull off an upset against the Chiefs. And then there's some weeks where, and actually just most weeks of the season so far, to where they've been looking like absolute garbage. And again, they, I don't know how this team is 3-2, and two, but with the way the schedule has worked out for them, that's why they're 3-2 and two and 1, by the way. Remember, they got a tie. So, yeah. Packers Commanders, will the Packers finally get back on track? Will they? You know, will they? Aaron Rodgers is going to have to contend with Montez Sweat, Jonathan Allen, you know, a, a, a really, really interesting commander's defense. You know, they're good, but again, they're they're a four-loss team right now. And, you know, it seems like Taylor Heineke will be starting for the commanders, which is weird. But at the same time, you know, Carson Wentz hurt his hand, probably broke some fingers. So, uh, uh, it, it, this could be an interesting day for... The fans of these two teams. This is gonna be an interesting day. Then you got the Jets and the Broncos. How in the world we don't have we don't have to suffer. We don't have to suffer through Broncos nonsense anymore. We don't have to suffer through the Denver Broncos for quite some time. Hopefully they start getting flexed out of prime time expeditiously. Because the Jets, good defense. Broncos, Broncos country, let's ride to some L's because that's just how it's been for the Broncos. Uh you know. Like, I, 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 don't, I don't know, like, they, they remember the Jets have Zach Wilson at quarterback, and he just hasn't been able to throw the ball as, you know, much. Um, let's see if Russell Wilson and company can actually do something. I, I hope, maybe. Hopefully the fans in that regional CBS window are, are going to be fine. They're going to be fine in that regional window. They're going to be fine, guys. They're going to be fine, you know? Jets fans, Broncos fans, in the regional window, and the streamers, which is like most of us anyway, I hope. Then you got the Raiders and the Texans also. Um, they're, they're finally, the Raiders are finally kind of well, actually, never mind. They're one and four. Texans are one and three. And it's it's just been a mess, you know. Derek Carr and company are finally starting to get something going. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but I'd say it's been a lot better than you know what it's been in these four losses. You know, Davis Mills, you know, just hasn't been good. Like, like what what. Like, at least Damian Pierce is doing all right. He's doing all right out here. But Davis Mills, I mean, general Davis Mills, he ain't it. He ain't the answer. And the Texans, they do need somebody. We'll find out who that is in the NFL draft. I, I'd, have, I'd have forgot who's the, the who's been touted as the number one guy coming out for the draft. I think it's I think it's Bryce Young, by the way. But, I mean, I, I'm, I can't be too sure because, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Um, Seahawks Chargers. Now, this one's an interesting one in the late window. Justin Herbert still kind of recovering from the rib injury. Uh, we're, we're still, you know, wondering is Caden Allen going to come back? It doesn't look like it. And then Geno Smith and company, you know, Seattle finally able to get the pass rush going. You know, Geno Smith's just been bawling out like crazy like like why is this man playing football like this and you know the Chargers they still they had they had Joey Bosa out last week too so you know it's it's just been it's just been a weird time for them uh but I think I think this one's gonna be a real good one I really think so this one's gonna be fun and then you got Chiefs 49ers Chiefs of course coming off a, a loss you know that yeah, they fought to the very end against the Bills in the war. The 49ers 
basically got, you know, they looked like they were about to have a tan, a nice tan. And then they got flipped over by the Falcons and sunburnt. That's how it was for the 49ers last week. And this one's gonna this one's gonna be a good one, you know. That 49ers team, you know, you got Nick Bosa, you got Shavarius Ward, I mean, you know, this, this 49ers team is something on defense still. Like, you know, they went to the Super Bowl a couple years ago now, and they're still dangerous on defense. Like, it's still dangerous. But you know what Patrick Mahomes can do. You know, you know the weapons by now. You know the weapons this man has by now. We'll see what kind of fight the 49ers will put up against the Chiefs. I think it should be a good one. I don't know. But, you know, the spread says only two and a half in favor of the Chiefs. So, Vegas is thinking it's a good one. And then, uh, oh, God. Yeah, the Dolphins and the Steelers. I don't know. I don't know what anybody was thinking. Like, why is this game still here in the Sunday night window? Nobody is watching this. Tua's back. Right? That That's good, right? Uh, okay. I don't know. I don't know. It seems like, you know, I've read reports where, you know, where two of them didn't even remember, you know, what happened, like, like after the Cincinnati game. Like, he's been coasting on, you know, uh, I don't even want to know, man. Because we, uh, I don't even know. Because the Dolphins just don't have a quarterback. Like, they don't have quarterbacks behind Tua right now because they're all knocked out. And then the uh, O-line is just not protecting well. And that's one of the reasons why as well. And then you got the Steelers, Kitty Pickett. It's, the jury's still out. He's a rookie. He, uh, I mean, the jury's still out. Like, what can, what can you say? Because, I mean, the Steelers are definitely in a different... They're in a new era now under Mike Tomlin. Like, what, what else can you say about the Steelers right now? Like, it's just... I just don't know. I'm not watching this. I'm definitely not watching this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to Dolphins and I'm sorry to Seals fans. I'm just not I'm, not. I'm not taking a gander at this one. Like, this is not compelling to me. And Monday night's also not compelling to me. You got the Bears at in, in, in Monday night. You know, you got the Patriots. Uh, we don't know. We don't know who in the world is going to be the quarterback. It seems the Patriots. And, I mean, you got, well, actually, no, the Patriots don't have J.C. Jackson. Why? But it's all right. It's all right. I haven't watched the Patriots game in quite some time. And the Bears, I, I mean, Justin Fields is developing, right? He's developing. That's good, right? It's good. What what do you what else do you want me to say? Like like Justin Fields is bad or something? Like what what else do you want me to say? He's like he's doing something. It's not nothing. Like he, it's not a complete bust. I'd probably say still a bust. And I don't know why Dan Schneider is still Washington's owner. Please somebody do something about Dan Schneider. Please please. Also, the Amazon. We need to do something about Amazon, too. Hold up. Why did Amazon add a game on Black Friday? That is college football's day. We already had the World Cup, you know, sneaking its fangs into college football on Friday this year on Black Friday. Why do you want to have more money, NFL? Stop doing this to me. I'm, I'm tired. I'm, I'm tired. Like, why can't we just have Sunday and Monday night? Like, like that's that's what I want. Let's let's. Uh, this is just me talking. Like, you know, I, I kind of want that nostalgia back. I want that 2005. You know, when I first got to the NFL type thing back. You know, because I got to the NFL it was uh it was it was either 38 or the uh, Super Bowl 38 or 39. I think I told y'all the story. But uh, please, please, 
please. Black Friday? That's college football's day. You're not supposed to have games at the 6th. Eastern. You're, you're tipping the line. Starting the game at 3. Eastern. Why? Stop it. Stop. I just want to watch college football on Friday. And I bet, I bet the game's going to be complete garbage. I bet it's going to be garbage. I hope it is. I hope every Amazon Black Friday game from now on is garbage starting next year. I hope it is. I really hope it is. I can't stand the NFL's greed anymore. I, like, like you know, going to 17 was bad enough. I wanted 18. Like, I, I like, I wanted 18. I'm one of those fans that like the idea of 18 games. Like that. That's something me and the NFL could agree on as far as you know the NFL getting their money and, and stuff like that. But like, you know, Black Friday games, Thursday night games. You know, uh, there's just so there's just so much other stuff that the NFL does completely wrong. And this is one of those things where I'm just like, why, why, why would you do this to me? Why would you do this to us? Like, when, when, I don't think anybody, like, like, of course the NFL, like, it's gonna be the most watched thing that day if it, if it's just the NFL, you know, the World Cup, probably gonna be uh, the thing, th this year. But like next year, I guarantee you, it's gonna be a lot of people watching that Black Friday game, even though it's gonna be, it's probably gonna not be good. Like Thursday Night Football is. He stopped Thursday Night Football. That's this is the third straight week where you know I'm, I'm just like, why why am I even talking about this right now? Before the game starts, why am I talking about this? Why am I talking about this Thursday Night game? Can we talk about the other games? <sighs> All right, y'all. I'll see y'all on Saturday night. Okay.